welcome to Sir Kenneth's Talk Show! Good day and welcome back to this new edition of Sir Kenneth's Talk Show. Today we'll be doing a review on the movie Fighting Choice. It's a YouTube movie, Fighting Choice. But before I begin, please, you know, to do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content from Sir Kenneth. So let's get into it. So this YouTube movie is actually a Nollywood movie and it stars, you know, Nigerian veteran actress Chinyere Wilfred. Okay, so I really never knew this lady was still into, uh, into movies because she has been in the industry for a very long time, like ever since I was a child. I mean, her, gener her generation of actresses, uh, of actresses are the likes of, you know, Liz Benson, Patience Ozoko, you know, Ngozi Ezionu. Those are her generation of actresses. Okay, so Chinyere Wilfred is actually a veteran, like a legend in the... Nigerian movie industry, okay, and you know, speaking of Liz Benson, uh, Liz Benson, that's like my favorite Nigerian actress of all time, like my favorite African actress of all time. I feel like she's the Angela Bassett of Africa, okay. But anyway, we're going to be talking about Liz Benson some other time. Today we're talking about the movie Fighting Choice, and it stars Chinyere Wilfred and you know Chidi DK and some other pretty, pretty you know, uh, young actresses. So this movie is another another rom-com i said last time i'm not really a rom-com guy this is just this has just been heavily requested so i'm um, that's why i'm doing this so i actually checked this movie out recently actually i'm just from checking it out i've just finished watching the movie and you know i have nothing else to do so let me just get dive straight into the movie so this movie is actually um a rom-com and it, it's the main character in this movie is this girl gina gina uh she plays um and her mother is played by chinere Wilfred, Miss Chinyere, Chinyere Wilfred. So Gina actually is an epileptic patient. She has a sister called Bella. She's an epileptic patient and you know, she is so unfortunate when it comes to love. All the guys she's come across tend, tend, tend to like dumb her due to her, her, her poor health conditions. So she's really, really unfortunate. Not until she meets this new guy. Uh, his name is Donald. Donald is played by Chile DK. Not until she meets this new guy and you know at first she's very uh, resentful of him like she pushes him away like all the time like you know the way they met is actually really funny they met in the supermarket like he just moved they, she, she she was doing some shopping gina was doing some shopping with her sister bella and this guy donald just moved to, moved to her and was like yeah i just want to be a friend can i have your number like straight to the point like wow i didn't know people became friends that easily out here i mean i felt like if if it was if i were in that kind of situation i wanted to be friends with this with a girl i've met in the supermarket i would probably just move forward to her and act like i don't know i'm looking for something do you know i can find this you know just start some small talk before you just before you go straight to what you want like but the fact that it was just so straightforward was kind of awkward for me and i think her reaction was reasonable i mean you don't just move to a girl in the supermarket and be like okay let me pay for your pay for your stuff that's that's actually quite insulting some girls might actually want you to pay for them but others might not because they feel like you know they will, they will feel like yeah you're kind of diminishing them diminishing them in a way like so they can afford their own things a guy must pay for it you know you know what i'm saying especially these modern day feminists okay they are really really not that type those type of bitches so yeah yeah so that anyway she res she resents him at first she pushes him away and she's like uh and the guy is persistent donald is persistent i mean he comes forward he comes here invites her out for lunch you know and the first time they go out on a date she drags her sister with her bella and the guy is so uncomfortable about it so yeah but they with time they, they eventually become friends they eventually become friends but you know donald wants more than friendship and gina is so insecure about herself about her health and she's like you no know, she pushes him away and like she's really really clear on it that she doesn't want a romantic relationship with this guy until you know her younger sister uh decides to date the guy since that's bella decides to date donald things her sister gina is not interested at first gina is trying to play cool like okay yeah whatever i'm not interested go hang out with that guy it's not my type anyway you know but with time she eventually gets jealous and is like no that's her man that's her man she actually gets into a fight with her sister not physical fight verbal fight you know she even hits her a few times and like uh it's really really ugly and you know at the end of the day it turns out that donald and bella that's gina's sister bella were not actually dating they were just trying to make uh, gina jealous and which they eventually did because she was actually jealous 
and they all just lead her into you know falling into her own trap and Gina realizes that she's actually in love with this guy so she goes back to him you know and to her is a beautiful love story at the end they both end up together and you know he's Donald says he has an uncle who can actually help with her health condition you know that's how they end it and yeah so that's a brief resume of the film fighting choice so what are my thoughts on the movie okay look okay like i told you last time i'm not actually a rom-com guy so this was actually very very difficult for me to watch it had been on my wait list for a very long time so i just did check it out and you know my opinion is that you know love stories i feel like like i said already the way they met was just to like the way the guy was always like too straightforward to the point i'm like it was really really awkward like who does that in real life and also when he was playing when he was fake dating uh, bella that's gina's sister when they were dating like we were not really dating i'm surprised he didn't actually fall for her for real because bella is actually really really pretty like she's well in my opinion she's much prettier than gina okay she's really really much prettier than gina i mean she has a nice chocolate skin tone i mean she has perfect curves and edges you know you know what i'm saying so she's really really pretty i'm really surprised he didn't fall for her i didn't end up falling for her for real for real like wow that was really really wow that was wow <laughs> yeah so i would like to say that first of all this well, my problem with this movie is that um i feel like the lifestyles are really not realistic like what do they let's talk about gina her sister and her and her and their mom what do they actually do for a living it's not clear what they do for a living at least we know what donald does he said sometime at the beginning of the movie he's a fashion designer though we've never seen him designing anything or anybody at least we know he's a fashion designer even though they've never shown him at his job but what do these girls re really do what do what does your mother do for a living they just seem to be on vacation they're always at home living their lives in a you know very comfortable home flat screen you know everything's so modern you know so i really wonder what do they do for a living that they uh, they can live this afford such luxury but they're always in those never going out to work like wow that doesn't really make sense to me yeah unless they have some fortune left to them by their father whom we have never heard of in the movie i don't know i really really do not know so that's one thing that really didn't you know yeah and also a guy don't know this is a fashion well i'm not I, we're not sure how old he is but he seems so accomplished at his age he should be tddk like i said in real life he's 33 but he could as well be playing a 25 year old 26 27 28 year old in this movie and someone that age not everyone that age can be that accomplished so i'm really wondering uh like is that how well fashion designing pays at least in nigeria because i'm not sure about camera but you know they all seem like really so accomplished and he's at his place though he he lives with with a he has a roommate i don't know if his brother or your friend you can't live together but still man that house was like wow well furnished nothing cheap in that home like they have big frames of their of their pictures at home like it's just so luxurious how they live their lives it's just so luxurious how they live their lives but they're never at work that's my biggest that's my biggest like surprise about the whole thing and, yeah, and another critique i have for this movie is the same critique i had for all the other youtube movies i've watched uh i feel like the setting of the movie has been was so mo monotonous throughout like they don't have enough settings enough venues to shoot most of the the, the scenes where i were in their homes like we hardly have any scenes outside only when they were jogging in the morning like i said it, i don't know i get that youtube movies are low budget movies but i feel like you don't even need to go somewhere fancy to shoot a nice scene outside i mean just in the streets outside you know go places because i feel like when once um uh the scenes keep re repeating themselves they, they no not the scenes the settings once it is the same setting like throughout the movie it gets a little boring like yeah so i feel like these youtube movies they need to like get more scenes i get that it's a low budget yes but still i feel like they could do better uh with all the props on set i feel like i've gotten like other great you know venues to shoot your movie scenes yeah so if i'm to grade this movie uh Okay, the top performance for me goes to okay the housemate, the housemate uh, at the ladies' homes, at the ladies' home. Like, 
uh she was really really funny like that is a top performance she acted like this um uh, uneducated illiterate kind of person but she was like she was the highlight of the whole movie she was really funny each time she spoke or something goofy or she was saying so yeah that's my top performance i don't know who the actress is but she really did she delivered okay she gave a great performance she delivered she she ate and left no crumbs like the like the gen z people say yeah um but so i'll give i'll give her like an eight on ten for her performance for that maid yeah every other person's performance was okay uh, even uh, the veteran senior uh, wilfred i felt like for the kind of actress she is i felt i guess expected a better performance from her but you know she still did good so every other person i'll give a seven on ten yeah um so the movie itself like if i'm to grade the movie itself i will give it a I'll give it a 7 on 10, okay? I'll give it a 7 on 10. Like, I feel like it was an okay movie. Will I be checking it out again? No. But, yeah, I think I, I feel like it was kind of like an okay movie. It was kind of worth it, yeah. So that was it for today's episode. Thank you for staying tuned to Sir Kenneth's talk show. I, I hope you did enjoy our review. I like your thoughts down in the comment section. And if you do have any other movie recommendations, please leave in the comments, okay? Until then, please stay tuned for another episode of Sir Kenneth's Talk Show. Bye. Peace.